This mansion was built in 1891 by Alfred Gibbard. He died inside the house in 1920. Then Benjamin Franklin Feinberg bought the place. Feinberg was a lawyer and politician and a lot of laws and policies were written in this very house. Benjamin's wife, Leah, died inside the house in 1953. Benjamin died in 1959. The house was then converted into a funeral home for 50 years. The funeral director, Stephen Drown, died down in the embalming area. Since then, the house was owned by many people, and so many stories were told about paranormal activity that can't explain, like seeing a woman walk around in a black dress. They say that Alfred, Ben, Leah, their kids, and Stephen still resides here at 94 Court Street. Okay, now we are inside the house. Again, we're at 94 Court Street in Plattsburgh, New York, and we're here with the owner of the house, Iris. Thank you for uh, actually inviting us in here as we do the actual investigation tonight. So what we're gonna do right now is uh, he's gonna take us on a tour of the place and we're gonna get a little idea of the history of what's gone on here. Uh, the history of this place is just unbelievable. Didn't even realize that I lived here pretty much my whole life and I didn't realize how much history is actually in this place. So whenever you wanna take us around. Sure. And um, well, obviously, this is the foyer. Uh, this was where, if there was guests for the funeral home, they would come in here, kind of socialize, sit, gather. I think they had like a little uh, desk here, like an entry desk, a uh, cozy little nook, an angle nook. Um, we have here the billiards room. I think this was originally uh, one of the, I think this was the billiards room or the games room uh, for when the Feinbergs lived here. Um, although I don't think any of the, I think some of the furniture is from the Feinbergs, uh, though I think some of it was also replaced. We did buy the house furnished, so kind of some cool stuff uh, got left behind. Uh, we have the parlor. This is where um, another seating area for the funeral home. Uh, when they did all of that, we have a screened in porch back here. Kind of a fun door. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, and then off to uh, this room was the library. There was a bunch of built ins in here. You could actually see where they were uh, from the missing pattern on the floor. Uh, but at that all got ripped out uh, and there every room had a chandelier those also got ripped out Which is a shame, but uh, Library was here Feinberg I know used to sit here and do a lot of like studying and and uh, signing bills and whatnot This is the old dining room oh my God. Uh, Wow So yeah, so this was where they had um, The big dinners back when the Gibbards were here and then when the Feinbergs were here they had this as like a meeting place uh, when they did deals, they had all the uh, different uh, politicians come here, sit down, and you know talk. They had the fireplace going. Um, yeah, the table was here. They have a bell on the floor. It's still, I think it's still connected to the basement to ring for the maids. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow, that's cool. This was the old kitchen, the um, the dining room now, but this was the original kitchen. The stove was here, uh, and then what they would do is then they would take the food through here through the little uh, butler's pantry into the dining room. It's just a laundry oh. room. Oh, so cool. This was a porch at one point, so now it's our kitchen. It's a little cluttered here as well. Sorry about that, but uh, they put this in as like an industrial kitchen for the funeral home. Uh, so they could also add this in. This was an addition to the house. So this is the casket lift. Oh my. So when you're here, yeah, and it works. I mean, you could pull those strings and it goes up and down based on, oh you know. God. And they would load the bodies up from that door to your right and they would take them down to the, to the embalming room. Wow. That's crazy. Um, we'll go down to the uh, basement. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then down here, this is allegedly where the uh, the funeral director died. He was he had a heart attack in this room. He was working on some stuff. Uh, the funeral director, do we know what his name is? Or are we here? Uh, Stephen Drown. Yeah, and they left. I mean, they left so much stuff behind. Plaques that were supposed to go to. I don't. You know, I, I tried to reach out to their funeral homes and see what I should do with them, and nobody had a need. You know, it's just it's just here. But they, he left everything. Um, and I've got hundreds of those probably just laying around. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah. All World War II stuff. Wow. Uh, and then this is the old involving room. We had to do some demo work because of some uh, mold and water issues. But wow. uh, I'm trying to fix this up and restore it. We have uh, we actually have a casket from, from back when it was. Yeah, there was more of like a display, display case or... So this was where they did all the embalming, they have all the, you know, all the drains and all the ventilation for safety. Um, we, I know that the couple owners back, they found ashes in this room that were unclaimed in like urns. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, so they ended up calling a funeral director uh, to get them removed. We had an issue too where um, in this closet, we were actually taking this wall out. I always thought that was a dirt floor. And um, we were, you know, dem demolishing this wall to get the, I guess, the, the water damaged pieces out. And I had not noticed there was concrete underneath, so we're scooping up all this stuff. And I found those hazard boxes, those biohazard boxes on the ground there, and they were filled with ashes that someone had dumped. Oh, so I actually no found more way. ashes down here. Probably, you know, bags and bags and bags. So God knows, they were probably just dumping people's ashes down here. Mm. It does happen. Uh, so this was the room mm. where they stored the dentures, uh, the rosaries, any kind of personal items that belong to the to the bodies. Oh. Uh, when I first got here, there was actually I found a rosary hanging um, in here. After I, I I had looked at it before this whole house, and I was like, okay, what's good? What's good? What's good? I didn't see anything in here, and I found a little rosary hanging right off the. Oh. It's like wow. Um, but you could actually see too some of the blood stains and like chemical stains oh. and gross stuff that you know <laughs> that's still here with a lot of this space. This was uh, they put doors down here though. You know they took the time to actually make it nice and they put archways in and um, you know the funeral home clearly didn't use this stuff. They walled it over. Um, but I have I have footage when I was filming something here for myself and. Uh, we shut off the fan because we thought we heard something. We were like, oh man, you know, and I'm thinking like, oh, electrical. We shut off the fan, we thought we heard someone breathing down here. Um, oh. And I have, that on, I have that on video too, oh. which is really creepy. Um, although this is where we saw, you could actually see the red stains going down that. So we saw like all that red water. Oh yeah. And we, you know, I've tried a million ways to try to explain like, you know, oh, it's me it's rust, it's metal, it's this and that, and we can't figure it out. That's why this is all crazy. Uh, <laughs> but this is where the casket lift come, uh, comes down. So they would bring the bodies down through here, oh, yeah, straight sure. over to the casket or the uh, embalming room. All right, and then upstairs we had all the bedrooms. They didn't typically have any bedrooms uh, on the first floor, story ever. So um, I went to Vermont, and they were labeled Gibbard at the antique store. And I asked the woman, I was like, "Do you know anything about these?" She goes, "No." Uh, but I know that you know they were together, um, and they were painted by the same artist. And I was like, oh, cool. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe they're. It kind of looks like Alfred a little bit, and and his wife. Um, so I'm not sure, but they are just the creepiest paintings ever. <laughs> they actually follow you. The eyes follow you. They're oh. real. Um, but if you move around the house, you can actually see like the eyes and the face move as well. Oh my. All right. So then this was the nursery. Um, I'm not sure if it was the Gibbards or Feinbergs or both that kept it this way, but this was where the baby would sleep, and then they had the um, nanny on the other side going into that room. Uh, then she'd come in through here, take care of the baby, go back to sleep, do whatever. Um, this room was one of the weirder ones for us, because this is where my friend was sleeping when the bed shook oh. um, at, in the middle of the night. Okay, we'll mark, mark that down. Um, yeah, and then the funny thing with this, too, so... I'm crazy, and I started knocking on some of the walls in here. You see how it's hollow? It's hollow, yeah. So, if you notice in here, this doesn't go any further than here. Um, so we actually cut a hole, and I stuck my phone, and there's a whole room in there. No way! Yeah. Yep. Is that what Light that is? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Lights and everything. So I've Really? Been, yeah, it's just unfinished space, but I mean, it's all, it's all, you know, it's not dead space. Wow. It's an actual room.
Um, whole, whole fuzzy original bedroom uh, to Gibbard and Alfred and Sarah. Uh, and I think they also did this with the Feinbergs too, where it was like the man's room and then the woman's room, you know, because they were separate beds, right. separate rooms. Um, yeah, so we just have like a little closet in here. Um, and this is how I noticed too, like I felt like there's some dead space because it's like basically right here. Um, yeah, so there's just a little closet there. We have a little alcove. I think this was like a dressing area for the women. I think this huh. was like the woman's side. Um, all right, so then this is my, uh, oh, this will be the new library. put in here but yeah this was um i think gibbert's uh, the alfred's the man's room uh benjamin and alfred's room and they had another water closet over there another bathroom just an extra guest bedroom for us we don't know what was actually no no but i i think there's another room like another secret room oh no because yeah we were we were knocking on the walls the other day and I noticed some like oh, weird no dead space. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Do something like this. Yeah, yeah, I think they they did a bunch of crazy stuff. Why? What is it? I don't know. It's just like a shrine, like a church type thing, walking into a. I think this was where the chapel was. They had a chapel oh. in the house. Oh, so that, well, that, yeah, would make, that would make okay. sense. All right, so now we're in the I guess the apartment of the house. So um, this is one of the, the bedrooms, and I got permission. Everyone said totally cool. Okay, cool. So, All right. Um, yeah, this is a nice room, fireplace. I think this was the governess's room because the, you can't see the door, but I think it's right here. So there's that pocket door that would lead to the nursery. Oh. So yeah, so this was the, oh. the governess's room. And then I think at one point too, it was like a women's parlor. Uh, I think when it was a funeral home as well. This was a huge bathroom for all the maids. Back when this was like the maids quarters. So I think this- Maid bathroom? Yeah, oh. maid's bathroom. Uh, obviously there wasn't like another entrance outside, so there are steps going out the back. Um, yeah, this was the original bathroom for the maids. And then the maid's staircase, which goes back down. And uh, this was another bedroom. Holy cow. This is totally like brand new. They re redid this entire room. Oh. We're gonna take it back eventually and do you know some cool stuff here, but uh, this was another bedroom for the maids as well. I think they had three or two, so. Oh my god. Yeah, the whole staff. Some of the attic was used, I think, for storage and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so this is all like original stuff. We actually have some things from like, Feinberg's here. Um, yeah, I found old pictures of Feinberg up here when he was like a kid. Oh. I found a couple of like goofy things. They have the side up here from the sun. Bob Feinberg. Oh, wow. Um, storage. They had... Um, up here in the turret, which is just watch your step. Wow. I know they brought bats up here. Was, what? Yeah, that was like a thing. I don't think it was fun for it, but I think they did use that. Oh. What are we walking into now? So this is the turret. They uh, they bred bats in here. So that was their way of controlling the insect population back then. So all the bats would hang out in here. That's so. Uh, it was, I think it was a guest bedroom at one point, and then, you know, when they moved out. I guess they just left everything, like, as it was. Just, like, oh, really? moved out, that's it. Oh, wow. See you later. <laughs> well, so I wonder we're... why. Spirit, earth, water, fire. Give us what we desire. We wish to talk to any spirits that are in this house. We allow you to use our energy to talk to us. You do not have permission to use our bodies. We will all say our names so you know who you're talking to. So now I'm gonna walk knock three times and then you say your name. Ed. Chico. Carrie. Miss Shira. Wayne. 
You know, we're going to ask you some questions if there's anybody in here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Janelle used the dowsing rods. Did anyone here that wants to talk with us? Is anyone here that wants to talk with us? Was that a yes? Inwards for yes, outwards for no. Can you point them straight? No, 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 not you. Oh, oh, no. Can you point to the direction of the room you're in? Point them straight. If you're a female, can you cross the rods, male outward? If you're a female, can you cross the rods, male outwards? Can you point them forward? If it's out, Alfred. Is this Alfred? Is that Eddie? Where is Eddie? Yeah. Did you die in the house? Did you die in the house? Can you straighten the rods out for me? Are there multiple spirits living in the house? Are there multiple spirits living in the house? Is Leah here? Can we talk to Leah? Is Leah here? Can we talk to Leah? If we're talking to Leah, can you make the rods go outwards? Can you point to where you are in the room? Let me ask you questions. I have a recorder right here. It'll pick up what you're saying. We won't be able to hear you with our normal hearing, but it will pick up on this. So if we ask you questions, you can talk into this. Are there too many people in the house right now? Yes. That was fast. Yeah. That was pretty quick. Because they were, they were going. Do you want the people to ask if he wants them to leave? Do you want the other people to leave? I'll straighten them out. Can you straighten the rods out? Do you want the other people gone? Do you want the other people to leave? Thank you. I'll can you point to the room pod? Can you touch the REM pod? Can you make it go off? You put your energy into it, you can make it beat. And we'll know that you're here. Either the REM pod or one of these cat balls right here. If you put your energy in them, it'll set it off. You can use my energy if you need to. Is that you, Alfred? You 
can use my energy if you need to. Is that you, Alfred? Okay, now I'm stoked. You can make it beep one more time. I think it was the woman. Is this Leah? You can make it beep again if this is Leah. I feel like it's <laughs> I feel like she's the one who's inviting us. She's Leah. inviting us in. What did I just say? Why is it every time I say the word K I L L? Yeah, I don't know. That See, that's going, going off. That's goes off. You're making everything go off now. Okay, at this moment, I apologize. The <laughs> word K I L L is. Is Leah still in here? I think it's Leah. Is Leah still in here? If so, can you make one of these cat balls or the REM pod go off? Probably in the kitchen making tea. Making tea? I think I'm in tune with this one. That's what that means, Leah? If we're talking to Leah, can you cross the rods? Can you uncross the rods? Statues have something to do with why you keep pointing over there? I 
That's why. Are you friendly, Leah? Keeps pointing to the fireplace. I didn't even ask what to do it this time. Are you by the fireplace? Do the statues have something to do with why you keep pointing over there? That's why I asked you for this house, but not the room. These two right here have something to do Did the kids pass away in the house? In the house, but not the room. These two right here have something to do with it. Are you the only one in this house, Leah? That's good one. What? Freak out? Is your husband Franklin here with you? Is Alfred in here with you? First me go. Don't forget. Well, that's, that makes more sense though, because Alfred didn't die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's there too. Frankly, the husband. Absolutely, but I don't know if he died. Are you the only one in this house, Leah? She probably, yeah, you're cool. I'm on this toast. No. That's definitely no. Who the What? You getting freaked out yet? Is... Your husband Franklin in here with you? No. Is Alfred in here with you? Who's Alfred? He's the first one. Out first of one. He built the house. Oh. Don't forget, they can lie to you too. True. Because don't like well, demons. That's, or that makes more sense though, because Alfred did mm -hmm. die. In don't the like house. demons pretend to be something they're not. Mm -hmm. And Lee's did too. Yeah. Franklin, her husband. Where are you right now? Where are you in the room right now? Where are you standing? Ask him if they can feel me. Can you touch Chad? Where are you right now? Where are you in the room right now? Where are you standing? Still by the fireplace. Ask them if they can feel me. If they can touch me. Can they do that? Yeah, you'll feel it. Can you touch Chad? Do you feel cold or anything? A little bit. Well. Nice. Are you behind Wayne? Do you feel threatened by me? What is that? <gasps> what is that? Oh, oh my God. shit! Yeah. Told you. I hope your camera's picking it up. It's right there on my shoulder. Yep. Yeah, but that was a, that was a probe. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, I told you. I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah. I can. Wow. Feel that I picked it up. up. Yeah. Are you behind Wayne? You feel threatened by me? <gasps> what is that? Holy oh my God. shit! Yeah. I told you. I hope your camera's picking it up. It's right there on my shoulder. Yep. Yeah, but that was a, that was a probe. Yeah. Oh just, my God. Yeah, I told you. I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah. I can feel. Wow. It. I picked it up. Yeah. 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 Told you. Come stand back next to me. It's okay. You can come back over here. Do you want to come over here? Get your hair. Hmm. It's right 
right here now. It's back over and back. It's by me. It's on the back side of my legs right now. I can feel the cool draft on my legs. I don't know, but I felt a cool draft. See, yeah, you do it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stand back next to me. Okay, you can come back over here. You want to come over here? Right here. It's right here now. It's back over and back. It's by me. It's on the back side of my legs right now. I can feel the cool draft on my legs. Oh, we felt a cool draft. See, yeah, you do it, that's right, yeah. Who are you most comfortable with in the room? Wait, what do you mean? Uh, this way. It's me. Well, I see it's you, yeah. It's me. Oh, it's me. Oh, that's comfortable. Tico, you want to Who are you most comfortable with in the room? Chico. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> uh, it's this way. It's me. I it's me, it's see? you, yeah. It's me. I it's me. Oh, that's comfortable. Chico, you want to try, buddy. <laughs> are we talking with Franklin? There we go. Who's Franklin? He was the... After Alfred died, Franklin bought the place after he did. So him and Leah were married. Yeah. Mm. His and wife no Leah died, died in the house. Right? And then... So she died in 1853. Franklin died in 1959. Okay, so he. But I don't know if he died in the house though. I know she did, and, and Alfred did. We talked to Leah. Yeah. And she's the strongest person. Mm-hmm. Recording. All right, we're here with Ed and Chad. We're friendly, right, Ed? We are. Okay. We want to know if anyone's here. If you are, we have this box with the red light. You can touch it and light it up. Let us know you're here. Or oh, we got two cat toys. There's a ball right there and a ball over there where the two girls are. You can light those up if we ask any questions. Is anyone here in this room right now? You want to talk to me and Ed, right, Leah? Me and Ed wanted to talk to you. Hang out. Just want to ask you some questions. We're not here to hurt you or make you upset. No. We just want to make. We just want to ask you some questions. You can do whatever you want. Me and Ed aren't going to run anywhere. We're going to stay right here. Can you hit the? Can you touch the REM pod so we know that you're here? Can you sit in one of the chairs? Where are you right now? That's cool. Mm. You sitting over here in the corner? You got that right. All right. Is there anybody else in here? Besides Leah? Yes. Is this Alfred? Is Alfred in here? Yes. Can you talk to us, Alfred? I can't tell where it's going. Give me a second to know. They're, they're straight. Alfred, can you talk to us? You're crossing now. Awesome. Can you touch the REM pod, Alfred? Can you make it go off? Or one of the cat toys? You can use my energy to do so. Yep, use my energy, Chad's energy, Ed's energy. Use energies, 
however you feel to make these things go off so we can talk to you, so we can ask you some questions. Leah? Leah, if I'm talking to you, can you set off the REM pod for me? It was going off so much upstairs, I don't get it. How did Chad find his way upstairs? It's just, he just walked straight. It's not that deep. Can you point to where you are in the room? Is that the, the casket? Coffin? Are you in the casket? In the coffin? Is there anybody in this room? I heard something move in here. Move something. You can move anything. Just me and Chico in here. Can you touch Chad? Touch me. Take my energy. To move something. No, yes. just that the bed. The, gover the governess used to sleep in that room here. Okay. And this was the nursery where they, she would come in and take care of the children. So oh. this is the bed that moves? Oh, okay. Yes, and this bed is. Can safe. you make the bed move? No. <laughs> okay. If you're in here, can you make the bed move? Do you want us to get out of this room? No. No. Thank you. There's a little cat toy ball over there you can play with. You can use your energy and light it up. Let us know you're in here. What the hell are these eyeballs? Come here. No. The cat? It <laughs> <laughs> probably better be. <laughs> I don't see the cat, but I sure saw them eyes. Oh, they're gone now. Um, I was going to show you guys too. I showed this. I sent all this to Ed so he has access to everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the first, and when you first walk in, you could see me in that big mirror right by the stairs. And then you could see this thing. It's taller than that mirror. Yeah. You know, and that was a video I took. I took screenshots because I thought I heard something down there. Right. And it was so bizarre. Um, but sometimes at night, outside of my bedroom, the old dining room, that mm -hmm. big, with the big bed and the big right. thing. Yeah. I, uh, I've definitely felt and seen stuff, a lot of stuff in there. I'll go down there after. Yeah, because my first, my first night here, I saw a woman walk. I don't think I told you the story. I don't know if you were here. I'm getting, I'm losing track of all the people. Yeah. But my first night here, um, we got in late, threw my stuff in the bedroom, and there was, it was me and a friend on the couch, and, uh, I, I locked my cats in with us because they had big dogs. So, um, Middle of the night, probably 2 30, 3 o'clock, cats are going crazy, crazy, crazy. And they're hissing and they're freaking out. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, there's a bit of something where they are. I open my eyes and I see a woman walking through the middle of the room, going towards like, there, we have like a butler's pantry. Right. And uh, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought it was one of the tenants. I hadn't met them yet. So I just right. thought maybe, oh, they were walking through the house, didn't realize, whatever. And uh, she didn't, she ignored me because I'm yelling at her, hey, you know, we're here, we're sleeping. Right. And uh, nothing. You know, so it was, it was really weird. So she, she keeps on walking. She had like a big black dress on. She had her hair kind of short, it looked like. And uh, the next day I go to meet the tenants and nobody, you know, nobody looked familiar. So I asked them, you know, who was in my room last night? You know, just so you guys know I'm here and, you know, we, we don't want you coming into my room. You know, right. It's fine if I'm, you know, here and awake and whatever. But they go, oh no, we don't go into the, the, the main house. We don't go into the main house. So it was really weird. We had gone to the Feinberg Library 
because uh, the Feinbergs lived here, and um, they had old photos of the family and, and whatnot. And I got chills because we were looking through the photos, and I actually found a picture of the woman that I swear was her, the woman that I saw, in the same outfit. And who was it? Holding the baby. It was the governess that used to live oh, here, the caretaker. Yep. Yeah, because that was the nursery you guys were in. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was nothing in there. But... Oh, yeah, right. well, there's a lot of people in here. But you can talk to us. You can hang out with us. Don't worry about that. We're just here hanging out. Probably haven't talked to anybody in a while. I just want to talk to you. Could have been Jesus right out Sorry, of Sorry. me. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't think there was anyone in here. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> freaking. I was like, oh, someone closed the door. Fuck out. <laughs> okay, I think it is started again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright. Gentlemen. <laughs> okay, that was intense. <laughs> That was way too intense, dude. Whoa. What? Did Leah have six kids? Oh shit. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's making right sense there. too because we did it upstairs yeah. too, so it's consistent. Yeah. It's like she likes this room for some reason. This is her room. Because there's more down here than yeah. anything. Hello. Are you saying hello? Is there a Frank in here? Talk to him. Yeah. Talk to him. Say, talk That's to that. my ex-girlfriend in here. She died in a car wreck. Her name was Precious. I didn't like her. She here? Oh, that's good. She's not here. No, no, no. Yeah. She in here? <laughs> Do you like me and Ed? I don't think there's anything in here. Ed. I don't think so either. No. Leah, that's Dilly. If you like Dilly, you can touch the REM pod. You want to talk to him? I can touch my pods. Come, <laughs> <laughs> Dilly. Those are my pods. Oh, oh my God! There she it goes. Dilly. She likes Dilly. You gotta be kidding me. She really likes Dilly. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. Wow. That was foul. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Thank that you. was foul. Well, at least that, that made the night right there. Yeah. Leah. The golf's like Deli. They hate everyone else. Everyone's gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna date her. <laughs>